I am here in St. Croix. I'm in Christiansted. I'm trying to explore as much as I can because obviously we have a Sports Illustrated shoot. There's like a full week ahead of all the things that we have to do. Really learn about the culture here, eat some amazing food. I'm gonna go to a vodka distillery today, get some drinks because what's a vacation without drinks? Do some shopping and just really, really explore the town. Whenever I travel to a new place, I like to explore as much of the town and like local everything as possible. That's what I'm gonna do here today. So come with me. Hi. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to IB Designs. Our store has been here for 20 plus years. Our signature collection is the Infinity Collection. So pretty. It means everlasting friendship, love, or memories. The metals that we typically work in are sterling silver and 14 karat gold. That's beautiful on you. That's nice. <laughs> How long does it take to make one piece? Waylon does make everything by hand. Yeah. And he has five people that work with him in the workshop, including two of his sons. I love that. Uh, custom work does typically take a little longer. Yeah, good stuff takes time. Yeah. The IB in IB Design stands for Island Boy, which my dad is. He's got the Island Boy feel, the flavor. We definitely put that love into each one, and it shows. This is interesting, Cheney which are broken pieces of china that are found. It's they gorgeous. are from the 1750s to early 1900s. Mm -hmm. And every single one is different. Yeah, the blues are the most popular. Yeah. This is our Ooh. signature necklace, and that chainy piece will look fabulous on it. She's ready. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, just kidding, I gotta pay first. <laughs> the fact that these are so old, you think about the people who ate off of these plates. Right. It's like they each have their own story and like their own life that they lived at one point. Yeah. Oh, wearing so. a piece of history. Well, I love literally everything here. Thanks. The attention to detail and like the fact that it's all handcrafted and the story behind it. I gotta take something home. I really love this black and white the one. Black and white. Thank there you, you go. so much. Thanks Thank for shopping you. at IB. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm Cammy. Hi, I'm Regal. Nice to meet you. This is a beautiful place, and I'm in St. Croix for just 24 hours. Oh, wow. We don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to be able to see this place. Okay, well, this is my girlfriend's closet. I'm a local designer here on the island, so I'd really like to show you some of my pieces. Yeah. Okay, so this is Madras fabric. This is something that's pretty unique to the Caribbean islands. This specific one is a print that was created for the Virgin Islands, so this is actually our Madras. Love that. And okay. you're wearing it. Yes, and I'm wearing it. It comes in different prints, different colors. It's really beautiful here. Ooh. And it's really um, tied into the history mm -hmm. of the Caribbean islands because Madras came here through the slave trade. Oh, wow. um, it's something that uh, was even bartered for slaves. So when it, wow. it came down through the slave trade and the colonials were wearing it, we would take pieces and adorn our clothing with it or make head wraps and head wrap pieces out of it. Wow. It's just something to identify our culture and something that we can wear and we can wear proudly. And you know, when you see someone wearing a dress, you, you know they're from the Caribbean or uh -huh. they're representing the Caribbean. I love the fact that something that started off with an oppressive exactly. nature has been turned into something beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> My favorite madras. <laughs> So I have something that I would really like to give you before you go while you're enjoying the island. Your very own Virgin Islands Madras. Piece. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. So now so I get to look cute like you? Yes, you get to okay. rock it. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I have had the most insane day around Christiansted. I've shopped till I dropped. Okay, I balled out in St. Croix. It's been amazing. Just seeing like the buildings, the architecture, the different colors, the water, it's so beautiful. But now I am so hungry. <laughs> and I heard that the best food on the island, if you want like local cuisine, is the chicken shack. So I had to come here. I've ordered everything on the menu. Johnny cakes and stew chicken. Your girl's excited. Oh my god, hi! Welcome to Chicken Shack. I've never been happier to be anywhere in my life. Okay. This is our chicken, Woo. which we are famously known for. Look at that chicken. Yes. Yes. Famous Johnny Cake. Yes! I love Johnny Cake. Do you think that I overordered or? No, you didn't. Okay, good. You cannot come to Chicken Shack and not have a little bit of everything. Yes. Woo. I'm so excited. 
Mm. Are you secret, kidding me? Secret recipe. We are so excited to have you. Thank so you we so hope much. You Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you so Bye. much. Bye. Give me a minute. You haven't lived until you had a Johnny Cake. In the islands, a Johnny Cake is basically like a slightly sweetened bread. It's perfect. It's like a warm hug. So you always can tell if a person is from the islands or has island ancestry by how they eat the meat off the bone. You have to finish everything because every piece counts. Obviously, I loved it. <laughs> it was incredible, it was so good. The best chicken probably I've ever had in my life, truly. Hey, welcome to Cyan Farm Distillery. So I am like on a whole day trip to St. Croix. Okay. First time here. I've had the longest day and like I think I need a drink ASAP. We, we got you covered. You're not just going to have a drink. You're actually going to impact the local community and indeed the entire globe. I like to drink good and do good so serve me up. This is a breadfruit as you know. This is what we make island vodka from. Oh, there wow. you go. We call it the island potato, and Mutiny Island Vodka is actually made from breadfruit. One breadfruit tree will feed a family of four for life. That's how much fruit it produces. And then breadfruit trees sequester more carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere than any other plant on Earth. I never knew that it had that much meaning behind it. I'm so excited to try all of these right now. We'll start out just sampling the spirit straight, and then we'll make your favorite drink. Sounds great. Cheers. Oh my god, you give me the bottle. That's good. So this next one, this has been super popular. But it's ginger and lime. Mm -hmm. You can taste the ginger and like a little tiny hint of like a citrus kick. And when you taste this, you're going to get notes of vanilla, notes of coffee. This is good. So Cammie, we got your uh, favorite pick for a drink. You like the ginger lime, so we're going to have a ginger lime mule. Cheers. Thank you. You don't even taste the vodka. That's, this is dangerous. We have food here, and this is for your protection. Yeah. In case the island spirit is too much in you. Breadfruit tostones. And saltfish. And saltfish, yeah. I love saltfish. I mean, the fact that the vodka is so clean and everything that you guys do for the community is really, really beautiful. And I'm just happy to be a part of it and drinking it. Thank you. All right, you guys, my 24 hours in St. Croix was absolutely incredible. I know I've just hit the tip of the iceberg. I started off the day at the jewelry shop, which was amazing. The jewelry is incredible. I love like the family story behind everything. Then we moved on to the clothing store, which was beautiful. I bought so many amazing things off camera. Really like rated the place, it was awesome. Then we went to the chicken shack. I think that was the highlight of my day. Food is always gonna be the highlight of anything that I do. And then we ended the day at the distillery drinking that vodka. It was so good, it like sneaks up on you. Just hearing like how the distillery gives back and everything that they're doing with that vodka was really, really amazing. If you haven't tried Mutiny, I suggest you go find it. And we just had a fun day. Like I know, I know there's so much left to see. I have to come back. So I'll see you soon, St. Croix.